This is Loopline, and in this video, I want to cover the fast poster. So, this is if we're going to be just posting links and trying to build some basic links. Um, there is four posters in Scrapebox fast poster, manual poster, trackbacks, and contact forms. Fast poster works for all of the platforms in here for the most part, such as image comment, guestbook, BBS, blog, and forum. The contact forms here obviously work with the contact form poster and then trackback poster obviously works with trackbacks and then the manual poster works with anything. It will just give you a window like so where you can click on each page to load it and then it will try to autofill the form and then give you the option to type in whatever you want in the actual form itself. So that is the basic posters overview. In this video we're going to work on fast poster. So let's look at connection settings. And for starters, I have the poster set to 25 connections, which works well in the connection of internet that I'm on. Timeouts, I just leave it at the default, but you could go higher if you wanted to, if you had a slower connection, or lower if you had a faster connection. Harvester, more harvester settings tab doesn't apply to the poster. And under the other tab, the max page size poster does apply. This will cut off posting at whatever size you set. So if Scrapebox encounters a page that's 26 megabytes right now, it will post to it. If it's larger than 26 megabytes, it will skip it. So I just have this set all the way up. Um, but that's going to use up a lot more bandwidth and time. But in my case, I, it doesn't matter to me. But I think this comes with a default of like 5 megabytes. So usually a lower setting is better. But you can set that appropriately for what you're doing. Proxies are very important when posting. You need to use private proxies or shared proxies. You could use public proxies or back connect proxies, that sort of thing. And back connect proxies mileage would vary depending on the back connect proxy service and what kind of proxy they're actually using. But especially with public proxies, success rate can drop dramatically if you're using public proxies to post. So really, private proxies or shared proxies are the best option here, and we want to make sure that is checked. And then I'm going to choose Fast Poster, and then I've got five data boxes over here that I need to load up. I'm just going to clear them out here so you can read the names. Names, emails, websites, comments, and blogs. Names and emails are pretty basic. Assuming I'm doing a blog comment, you got to stick your name in there and an email address. And then websites would be my website that I'm promoting. And then comments would be just a comment to submit. You know, you have a great site, whatever. And then blogs is actually the list of blogs or websites. It says blogs, but it can be websites, image comments, you know, anything that you load in there. And these are the same boxes that you use for all the different posters. But again, on Fast Poster, we need some names and emails. So we have this handy dandy tool, the names and emails generator, which allows us to generate names and emails and then save them off. I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and load in my names here and load in my emails. And then for actual websites, um, I'm just going to make up a website here, um, and we'll just call it something like uh, www.videofuntesting.com, page1.htm, whatever, doesn't matter. And then for actual comments, again, I'm just going to make up something here, and I'll pause the video while I do that. And so it does support spin text. And I just went ahead and made up something there, and we'll save that. And then for my list of blogs, I scraped up some blogs here to post to 1,400 of them or so. And we can test our comments here to see what's going on. The red is what spun, and we can spin different ones and see how it changes. Our name and email it changes each time. And then our website. Now, the name field is going to get used as your anchor text for most of these things in fast poster as a general rule unless you stick some HTML down here in the actual comment and a lot of websites don't allow that so this is a great way to do it is to have it as the name so we could go in here and put our anchor text if I wanted if I'm selling cars I could say I'm selling used cars I could put used cars as my actual anchor text or maybe I wanted to do I don't know lawn care services and so then it would use these as my anchor text also, I can turn around here and use what's called link lock, and I can put my anchor text in a particular spun setup like this. So let me just show you here. And so say I wanted to promote multiple unrelated URLs, or even if they're related, I wanted to have particular anchor text locked to particular URLs. So say I have this one up here for lawn care, I can stick in my lawn care anchor text here and then for here for used car sales I can stick in my used cars anchor text right here. Now you want to use a space in between the actual URL and the spin text and then this is just standard spin text with the curly braces and the pipe key which is typically the key above the inner key for most people 
and standard spin text and stick it in there and then whenever Scrapebox posts to the video fun testing it will use one of these anchors and whenever it posts this link it will use one of these anchors and so we can save that and then all we have to do from here is start the poster but before we do that one last thing we should talk about is more list tools randomizing this is very important if I have this and it's all one particular domain and then it moves to the next domain because it's an alphabetical order and I turn on 25 connections and the first 25 URLs are from the same domain it's going to hammer that domain with 25 connections at once in which case that could shut the domain down if it's on a really light server or they could just give errors that sort of thing so you don't want to do that it's going to slow everything down because it makes all the bandwidth go to one server at once so it's better to just have them randomized which I have but if I didn't I could go to randomize blogs and then it would make these nice and randomized and I can randomize everything else too and then a transfer options so once that's done we start the poster we see we can mess with proxies in here and if we have capture services we can set them up we choose our capture here we can check the balance test it and then we actually set it up down here choose it enter our username and password and then we even have an option for capture sniper and when that's done we can update the service and then once we're done we close out of here and hit start and I'm gonna let this run with our two websites and our 1400 URLs we're posting to when it runs you can see the website over here you can see the platform in this case WordPress and that sort of thing and then the actual status where it's whether it's failed successful failed detecting form whatever so we'll let that run I'll pause the video and we'll come back and so you can see it's still running um, but we have a bunch of failed here and a bunch of success here and I'm just gonna stop it um, because it doesn't matter for this video and we close out of here and so then we get the option to export so we can export successful non-successful and other options here and then we have our actual status listed here and that is how fast poster works for scrapebox version 2.0